if it gets to four dollars a gallon, I'll stop driving. Well, get ready to put on the brakes. That tops tonight's Your Money, Your Business. Here is News Channel 8 in Portland Business Journal reporter Joe Smith. Good evening, Laurel and Tracy. Just when you thought it couldn't go higher, it is. The national average for a gallon of gas jumped 15 cents in just a week. And as the cost of a barrel of oil continues to rise, it means lowered expectations for the economy and for retailers this time of year. It's a crude awakening. Probably it's V8, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tim pays $20 twice a week to fill up his ride. As it is a carpool. Mr. Kuhlman is doing what he can to combat higher gas prices. We do take advantage of the public transportation. <laughs> Stephanie is leaving the driving to someone else. As gas prices climb the $3 ladder, drivers are feeling wrung out. Staying at home more than I normally would. Washington State's gas prices come in at number two nationwide at $3.21 a gallon. Oregon's are now the sixth highest in the nation at 312. If the price of crude continues to escalate as it has been, certainly $4 a gallon isn't out of the question. A barrel of crude is selling for nearly $97. Some experts believe it could top $100 a barrel within a week. I'm hoping it doesn't. It's a matter of demand. Countries including China and India are using more. A weaker U.S. dollar overseas and political turmoil are also fueling higher prices. Most recently, Turkey and, and the Kurds and, and, and Iraq, where there's a, a large amount of oil that crosses through Turkey. Mark Kroll is an energy expert with Ferguson Wellman Capital Management. He says as gas prices continue to go up, the downside creates a huge drag on the economy from the housing crisis to the important holiday sales season. It will make life difficult for the consumer, which will translate into, I think, a tougher time for retailers. As an example, in the past six years, the average price for gasoline more than doubled to $3.06, a record going into the holiday season. But despite forces working against the economy, at this point, experts aren't ready to use the R word, recession. We don't feel we're at that point right now in the economy. We think things will just be slower. Now, to help you search for the cheapest gas in the area, check out our Gas Watch page at kgw.com under news links.